Proper installation maximizes equipment life and reliability. This video briefly describes the right way to ground a base tech pump base. Be sure to follow all health and safety warnings located in our installation manual. Simply follow these nine steps for a successful installation. Step one, prepare the foundation. This is done by roughing up the surface with an abrasive material to expose the aggregate surface. Step two, mount the base to the foundation. Anchor bolts are used to locate the base. Start by marking the anchor bolt locations on the foundation. Drill the holes. Hole depths should be nine times the diameter of the hole when using a high strength epoxy anchoring gel. Remove any debris. Each hole should be blown out from the bottom up three times and brushed out twice to establish good adhesion between the anchoring gel and the concrete substrate. Then, inject epoxy into each hole. Working from the bottom up, fill about three quarters of the way. Insert the bolts by spinning each one to the bottom. The spinning action ensures uniform coverage of the epoxy over the surface of the anchor. Once the bolts are inserted, do not disturb them until the epoxy has fully cured. When the epoxy is dry, wrap tape around the anchor bolts to prevent grout bonding to the exposed anchor surface. Carefully lower the base over the four anchor bolts and onto the foundation. Step 3. Level the base on the foundation. Start by waxing the leveling jack bolts. Insert the bolts in the base. Be sure to place a jack pad under each leveling bolt. This provides a solid surface and distributes the load. Note the jack pads are round with no stress inducing corners. Place a level on the base and adjust the leveling jack bolts until the base is level in all directions. Then hand tighten the anchor bolts. Install required expansion or control joints per grout manufacturer's recommendations. Each piece is trimmed to fit between the form boards and put under the base. Step 4. Prepare and set the form, which is commonly constructed of wood. To prepare the form, wax the inside surfaces. It is important that paste wax be used. Attach a chamfer strip around the edge of the 2x4s to establish the proper grout height and break the sharp edge of the grout. Apply two-sided foam tape to the bottom of the form. This will seal the wood to uneven concrete so the grout doesn't leak out. Make sure the form is centered evenly around the base. Then, attach it to the foundation with the necessary screws. Step 5. Mix the epoxy and aggregate, then pour it in the form. Start by combining part B into part A per instructions. Mix for a minimum of 3 minutes with a jiffy mixer at 300 RPM. Then, pour it into a mortar mixer and add the aggregate. Stop mixing when all aggregate powder disappears or becomes wet. Pour the epoxy on one side of the mold and it will flow to all sides. Step 6. Remove the forms and dress the edges promptly as this is a safety issue. When the epoxy is fully cured, disassemble the forms. Start by removing the leveling jack bolts. This must be done within 24 hours of pouring the epoxy grout. Remove any screws holding the forms to the foundation and holding the forms together. Use a hammer as needed to release the wood forms. Once the wood is removed, the grout edge will be sharp. Use a brick rubbing block or grinding disc to break the sharp edge. Finish dressing the edge with a masonry grinding disc. The proper grinding disc has a green label. Step 7. Attach poxy block pump motor mounting blocks to the base. These blocks have a counterbore design, so they lock to the base and don't spin. The mounting blocks are made with xanite and maintain the proper centerline between the pump and motor. Step 8. Attach the pump to the base. Be certain to center the pump on the four mounting bolts and tighten. Plug any unused mounting holes and fill any areas that may trap unwanted liquids. Step 9. Fasten the motor to the mounting blocks.
The last step is to install the coupling and perform the final alignment. With BaseTech, proper base installation is that easy. For more information, please call our 800 number or visit our website.